Hey guys, Tim Moltit Ranger again, here to show you Distress Ink this time. Let's take a look. So here's the cool thing about Distress Ink. Distress Ink is formulated to create an aged effect on paper and fibers, photos. It has some unique properties and I want to share those with you. First, what we're going to do is a technique called wrinkled distress. So we're just going to take a tag. It could be a piece of cardstock or paper, anything like that, and we're going to crumple it up just to create some wrinkles in it. <clears throat> take the pad and I'm just going to kind of swipe it over the top just to hit the raised areas. We're going to take a mini mister. Cool thing, we've got this mini mister organizer so if you mix different colors you can store them. Very easy access. <clears throat> Inside this mini mister, just water. Now Distress is reactive with water so see when I spray it, see how that ink just travels out right away? That's one of the unique properties of Distress over any other dye ink is that these inks are reactive with water and they travel out across the surface when you wet them. Next we're going to take an iron, a hot iron. This is just a craft iron, doesn't have any holes. And I'm going to iron directly onto my nonstick craft sheet. Again, this sheet, in addition to being nonstick, it can also handle temperatures, really high temperatures, up to 800 degrees. So I'm just ironing this flat. You can flip it over iron from the back. Now if you don't have a craft iron, could you use a household iron? Well, you could, but you want to make sure that you know, you're not going to go and iron your finest couture after that. You may have ink on the surface of it. So here's a great thing, totally smooth now. So this is a paper that now has this great aged effect. I can print on it or stamp on it. Now, if you're not into the whole wrink wrinkled thing, wrinkle free. Here I'm going to take Distress Ink and work right on my craft sheet. So I'm just going to swipe that across. You can do a couple of colors side by side if you want. As long as you don't swipe directly over the top of them, you don't have to worry about contaminating your ink pads. I'm going to take some water from my mini mister and I want to spray this until it becomes droplets of color. You can see how intense that color gets because remember Distress is reactive with water. We're going to take our tag. This time I'm just going to press it down, kind of ooze out all that ink a little bit, flip it over. And I'll dry this with a heat tool. Now you could use an iron on this, but I really like the effect the heat tool is going to give me because it's going to keep my color kind of in place. Sometimes if you use an iron, your ink tries to go out to the, the sides a little bit. Don't worry if your paper curls. After it's finished curling, it will start to flatten out. We're just going to dry it a little bit. I'm not concerned with the ink on the edges. So once I have my first layer, I'm going to play off this ink that's still on my sheet and I'm just going to kind of tap it in some of those bigger drops. This time I'm not really pressing down, I'm just going to tap and it gets me some really great kind of splatter effects. You see that? And we're going to dry it. You can build as many layers as you want when you do wrinkle free. That's what I love about this. And you don't have to dry it all the way but you do want to dry um, enough of the water so we can make another print without everything muddying together. I normally do at least three layers like this and I'm avoiding that big puddle right there because I don't want to muddy everything up. But look how cool that background is. Just layering and your color combinations, really endless. This is Spice Marmalade and Broken China. Really great palette I think. Simple background. We could stamp on that, do whatever we want. Alright, so Let's clean this up. Take a paper towel. Easy clean up with the craft sheet. Now, if you're not into the all the water and the kind of the messy thing, we'll just show you a very simple background. Let's see, let's take some brush corduroy. I'm going to use an ink blending tool. Just going to tap this. Again, start it right on my craft sheet. And in a light circular motion, I'm going to pull ink from my craft sheet onto my tag. Now, circular motion, the harder you press, you see how I can make kind of that ink really, really intense. Let's say I don't want it that intense. I can just go really, really light handed and blend it out that way. So that's the cool thing about the blending tool, intense or very light color. Because the blending tool is designed to blend these inks and Distress is designed to be blendable. In other words, it's not going to dry right away. I can go in and introduce different colors if I wanted to throw in a different color real quick. Maybe I want to throw in some, some blue. See how I can just blend that right in there? So simple to do. So that's the blending technique. Now, one final thing, pretty basic. 
a rubber stamp because after all distress is a stamping ink so I can take this and for this I like to work with a lot of different colors I'm working with my black soot to start off with it's a really really black ink I like that quite a bit and you can see where the ink is on your stamp that's what I that's what I like most about distress really wet so I can see everything that I've stamped around here take a different color now as long as I don't go directly over the top of the other color I'm able to introduce a second even a third color so you can see I didn't ink this area of the stamp yet so I'll take now my fired brick and go in and you can see where you're inking and because this ink stays wet you can see how shiny that still is you got plenty of time to use different colors We'll take this and let's see where I want to go on this Give it some good pressure. Look at that. Stamping those different colors. And I'll back, go back to that kind of blending technique, maybe with a light color, and just finish this off. Look at that. So, so simple. Take another color, kind of go around the edge. So, distress, everything from wrinkle technique, wrinkle free, blending tool to even stamping. Just have a go with this. It's really nice, very versatile ink, gives you a lot of time to play. Enjoy the journey.